Welcome to Berry Berry Life, bringing you easy and delicious vegan and vegetarian recipes every week. On today's episode, we're making gochujang tofu. Gochujang is one of our favorite condiments slash ingredients. It can be added to just about any savory dish for an instant burst of flavor. For those not familiar with gochujang, it originates from Korea. It is a red chili paste made from Korean chili peppers, glutinous rice, fermented soybean powder, malted barley, and salt, and other ingredients. It comes in a package like this, varying in levels of spiciness, so you can choose one to match your spice preference. So let's get started. For this recipe we'll need one block of extra firm tofu, pressed and patted dry, one or two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and some cooking spray, or a tablespoon of oil. With these ingredients, we'll air fry the tofu. You can also pan fry, but air frying is our preferred method to get that crispy, golden brown, and delicious tofu. And for the gochujang sauce, we'll need three tablespoons of gochujang. You can add more if you like it spicier. 3 tablespoons of ketchup, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, 2 tablespoons of agave nectar. If you don't have agave nectar, you can substitute it for honey. 2 tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of grated ginger, and 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. 2 to 3 tablespoons of green onion as an optional garnish, and sesame seeds, again as garnish. An easy way to add a little crunch. If you're new to this channel, glad you could join us. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of foodies. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Also be sure to share it with your friends and family to spread the love. By doing so, you'll be helping to support this channel and click the bell icon for future upload notifications. We upload recipes every week and you don't want to miss out. This recipe only takes a few minutes to put together. First, we'll start by cutting the tofu into bite-sized pieces. We'll aim for half inch by half inch rectangles. I was going to tell you a joke about tofu, but it's really tasteless. Why did the tofu cross the road? to prove it was not chicken. With the tofu cut, we'll transfer it to a large mixing bowl. We'll sprinkle the bowl with cornstarch to prevent the tofu from sticking to the bottom. Now we'll go ahead and transfer in all the tofu pieces, being as careful as possible not to break any. And for good measure, we'll add on a little bit more cornstarch, along with the salt and black pepper. Now using a silicone spatula, we'll stir everything together until all the tofu pieces are coated with the cornstarch. That looks good. Now we're ready for the air fryer. We'll line the air fryer bucket with parchment paper to prevent sticking and spray it with cooking spray. Now we'll transfer in all the tofu pieces as efficiently as possible. For even frying, we'll spread the pieces out in a single layer, ensuring there's space between the tofu pieces, and then hit it with more cooking spray. Now we're off to the air fryer. We'll fry it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or 175 Celsius, for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. We'll come back halfway through and check on it. While the tofu is frying, we can go ahead and make the gochujang sauce. In a small mixing bowl, we'll add the garlic and the ginger, the brown sugar, the rice wine vinegar, ketchup, the agave nectar or maple syrup or honey, soy sauce, and finally the gochujang paste. The gochujang paste is relatively thick. Now we can get these additional bowls out of the way and whisk until all the ingredients are well combined. The gochujang sticks to the bottom, so make sure to scrape it. This looks good. You can mix the sauce ahead of time as well, and allow all the ingredients to meld even better. 
Now back to the air fryer, the tofu has cooked halfway through. We'll go ahead and stop it and give it a shake. We'll turn the pieces over and hit it with more cooking spray and set it back in the air fryer to finish cooking. It's been a total of 15 minutes and tofu should be done. Let's take a look. Just listen to that. It's totally crispy and GBD. Golden brown and delicious. The tofu is crispy on the outside and soft and chewy on the inside. Just perfect. With the tofu fried and the sauce made, we can finish the cooking. We'll heat a wok over medium heat, and to it add the gochujang sauce. Now we'll continue stirring until the sauce is bubbling. There is sugar in the sauce, and we don't want that to burn, so the continuous stirring will help prevent that from happening. Now that the sauce is bubbling, we can go ahead and add the crispy fried tofu. We'll stir until all of the tofu pieces are coated with the gochujang sauce. It takes about 15 to 30 seconds. Once the tofu pieces are coated, we'll go ahead and turn off the heat. Now we'll just top it off with a little bit of sesame seeds and green onions. That's it, the gochujang tofu is done! Today we're enjoying the gochujang tofu with some brown rice. This dish is really great for lunch or dinner, and perfect for meal prep. And for our side of vegetable, we're going to pair it with steamed broccoli. Now I'll add some more sesame seeds and green onions as garnish. Oh man, I cannot wait to dig in. There you have it, gochujang tofu. Popular flavor of Korea and the comfort of your own home. That sauce really sticks to the tofu. Oh man, this is just perfect. It's definitely spicy, but that sugar really counteracts that spiciness. And it's savory and sour, so it hits all your taste buds. Now we can cool it off with a little bit of rice and the steamed broccoli. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments your favorite tofu recipes. Also remember to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. It really helps support this channel and we thank you for it. And finally, remember to hit the bell icon. We'll be uploading recipes every week and you don't want to miss out. If you tried this recipe, tag us on Instagram at BerryBerryLife. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and enjoy!